is about a ST4 in a neonatal unit and the uh, speaking to a father whose uh, child has been has had antenatally uh, bilateral dilated kidney and postnatal scan also performed it on day two and uh, now the consultant wants uh, uh, MCUD to, to be done. So basically the, the task is to, to update the parent about the event and to explain the MCUD. is two day old. And you presume it's a boy? Yeah, it is a boy. To update the parent about the whatever has been happening and, and particularly about the MCUG. And technically, he should need a DMS uh, essay as well, but that's fine. I think the explanation till the dilatation is very good. Yeah, and then you got locked into the system. <coughs> Congratulations. I'm going off. And uh, I gather you have a lovely boy. Yes. yes and yes, yes. Uh, your wife had some scans with short term problems. Yes. Uh, um, it's so that uh, they told me that uh, both of the kidneys they are a bit dilated. Right. But uh, basically they said that after he is born, uh, you people will sort of. Yes. It's out. always easier because once the baby is inside, it's more difficult to get he's, to. He's okay, doctor. Yeah, he looks fine, and we have done a couple of tests. His blood tests are normal. We had a scan of his kidneys like he had uh, in the room, but we could get better pictures. Yeah. And like my colleague explained, that in our kidneys, his part of the kidney is slightly big. But, yeah, but sorry, uh, your hydrogenity was uh, uh, your junior, but he said that the kidney is normal, it is it's only the, the, the pipe that is a bit That's right, the pipe is slightly big. And that is the kidney is normal. The kidney is normal, as far as I'm told. The kidney is normal, and the pipe is slightly big because, as you understand, the blood comes into the kidney, the urine is made, and it comes down these tubes and is put out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If there is a little blockage or narrowing in the pipe, you can understand that there would be a bit of urine collecting in the back and causing the kidney problems. problems. So, although everything is fine now. If we don't do anything about it and try and find out a cause, it may lead to problems in the future and I'm sure you wouldn't want yeah, that. Yeah, that's what it's What do you propose to do? Well, I think what we need to do is we need to try and find out and see if there is any little narrowing at the bottom part of the bladder. And the only way we can do it is on special x-rays in which we have to put a little bit of dye you know, like uh, substance in the bladder, which we can see on x-rays, to see how they... And how do you do that? For that, we have to put a little, very tiny tube into the bladder. But it will hurt maybe? It probably be uncomfortable, but I don't think it hurts. We do it routinely. It's not the first baby we are doing. Most babies have that. Yes. I mean, a lot of babies have it. It's a very, very small tube. It is uncomfortable. But our uh, radiologist is it, very experienced. Is it uh, <coughs> uncomfortable? If it was too uncomfortable, we wouldn't do it. Will my baby be put to sleep or that? No, he wouldn't. That is why. Because it's not that uncomfortable, he's not put to sleep. They normally just suck on a dummy or uh, have a little bottle of milk and they're happy. That doesn't sound that bad, does it? Well, I haven't had it, but uh, I've seen a number of babies have it done and they're not really troubled by it. Uh, Bleeding, he was saying, I'm not going to subject my baby to it. No, no, I'm traumatic and. Uh, well, if it was traumatic, I would not subject my baby to it either. But we are thinking of what it'd be like in 5 years, 10 years, and 15 years. And if we have it sorted, then he'd live for maybe 100 years. But if we don't, and we don't know, 
then it could be a leg cause problem in the future which you wouldn't want, mm -hmm. would you? Definitely. So I think that is the reason for doing this test. And once we have the test and we know more, then we can sit down and discuss more. Do you think like, it is going to, to affect the long term uh, outcome of the, the kidneys? Then? Yeah. yeah. So I think it's an important test and nothing is safe in life. But this one, I think, compared to the other test, is a very safe test and the baby should be fine. Any questions you'd like to ask? Of course it would, and you know the other colleagues here are experts at <coughs> it, and they'd be doing it. Sure. Okay, thank you very much.